M many patients often ask me, what is the difference between a headache and a migraine? It's a complex co subject matter because most people with lots of headaches have underlying migraines. Most people with migraines have multiple types of headaches. So it can be a, a tough thing to break apart. Well, is this a migraine? Is this a tension headache? Is it a sinus headache? Is it a menstrual migraine headache? Or is it a, a rebound headache? So there's lots of things that, that can cause headaches. 50%, maybe more than 50% of us have migraine tendencies. And a bad migraine is easy and hard to mistake, but milder migraines can overlap a lot with tension headaches, muscle tension, tightness, neck pain, and other things. And when a patient sees a neurologist, we try to pick apart what, which of the headaches are disabling, what can be done to potentially prevent them. So we try to look at the triggers, look at the diet, look at um, changes in the weather patterns. It's something we can intervene to try to address either with medication or lifestyle change, then sometimes we're able to prevent a lot of the headaches. If on the other hand it, it, it's difficult to prevent them because the patient has tried these interventions or, or they aren't working, then we have to think more about medication to prevent the headaches from occurring in the first place. Sometimes we just treat the headaches as they come. If you have one headache a year, we don't need to be so concerned about preventing them as much as getting an effective strategy an effective strategy in place to knock that headache out once it occurs. The triggers of migraine are numerous and different for different people, but the common ones that, are, that show up again and again in studies include aspartame, which is a diet sweetener used in, in diet colas, and other things too, gum, chewing gum. Um, aspartame is a big one. Nitrates and nitrites, which are added as a preservative to lunch meats, salami, pepperoni, uh, ham, turkey. Uh, sometimes in some frozen pizzas, other products, got to look at the label. Red wine, all alcohol can for some people provoke headaches. Um, MSG, which we've heard about for years in other contexts too, but this is a major trigger for headache for some people found in Chinese food. And so you got to look at the label uh, to, to avoid some of these things. Caffeine in large quantities can trigger headaches. Caffeine withdrawal can trigger headaches. So caffeine kind of goes both ways. This goes on and on, but the big ones are really mostly artificial ingredients added to foods to keep them fresh and artificial sweeteners. Uh, sucralase doesn't appear to cause headaches for most people. Um, aspartame is the one to, to be aware of.